Carmel Breeden is a student of psychology. She's 22, and in her spare time, she enjoys a game of snooker. Carmel took up snooker four years ago, and in Dublin, where she works and studies, no one objects when she walks into a hall and hires a table, which is not the case in Longford, her hometown, as she discovered when she and her fiancé applied That's for right. membership. Um, I went up with my fiancé, Liam, and um, we both applied at the same time. And um, the caretaker went off. He looked at me very doubtfully for a moment and said that girls weren't allowed into the club that he thought, and uh, he'd go off and check. And um, he made a phone call, apparently, to one of the committee and came back and said that um, girls were not allowed into the club and that Liam would be accepted and I would be rejected. And, uh, Other girls might have left it at that, but not Carmel. She went to the parish priest, Father Kevin O'Sullivan. Well, the, the point is that it has been a men's club for 30, 40 years, you know, and if we accepted one girl as a member, we would have to be geared to accept as many girls as wanted to enter. You know? But what nobody realised at the time was that Carmel didn't take no for an answer. Definitely not from any single one of the club's 107 male cardholders. And certainly she wouldn't take no from Father O'Sullivan, custodian of the Temperance Parish Hall and treasurer of the organising committee. Since then, I understand more members have been taken on. We didn't say that we hadn't enough for room to take in more members. No, we said we hadn't enough for room to take in girl members because, as I said at the beginning, if we took in one girl member, we'd have to be geared to take in as many as applied, maybe 20, 30, 40. At that time, we had place for more male members, but since that, we've had to close down and we can't take any more male members. Has it become something of a matter of principle with you now? Um, I'm a bit annoyed at being rejected. Uh, by the committee for two, to me, ridiculous reasons. And um, it is sort of a matter of principle, although my main um, aim is to play snooker and billiard. Are you going to so much for the first reaction to Carmel's application to play snooker. It wasn't even a question of her competence. Liam Madden, captain of Longford County football team, was the man who asked to join the snooker section at the same time as Carmel. And naturally, as her fiancé, he was more concerned when he realised the club door was open to him, but closed to his girl. It doesn't say anything in the rules, as I can see, that women aren't allowed into the club. I've never known there, uh, there to be a rule in the club that women were explicitly forbidden. I've played in the club over ten years ago, and uh, although I've never seen women members, women playing billiards or snooker, Nevertheless, I believe there was no rule. You're faced with the problem that a mother would say, well, you were allowed so-and-so in, why can't you allow my daughter in? We'd have to be geared to accept as many girls as wanted to join, and we're not geared to accept girls at the moment. Carmel is working in Dublin. She only comes home at the weekend. Would she really expect us to change our rules? That's exactly what Carmel wants, to change the rules so that when she spends her weekends in Longford, she can play snooker. As for Father O'Sullivan and his committee, well, perhaps they're just a little embarrassed by the claim that they don't have toilets for women. There are much more fundamental reasons for not allowing girls in. We haven't got the proper facilities. We haven't got toilet facilities in this end of the hall. Supervision-wise, we would have problems. We haven't enough tables. We haven't even enough tables for the amount of boys we have. So, you know, there are a lot of problems. But other oh, girls do use the hall. They play oh, yes, table tennis and yeah, badminton yeah, and so on. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. You should come down here some night when we have table tennis in full swing. We have about 200 playing table tennis, boys and girls. Well, this new reason, uh, I think, very ridiculous. From I've been very, very young. I've lived around the corner from the Temperance Hall, and I know the Temperance Hall and the layout of it very well. Uh, there are five groups of toilets in the Temperance Hall, and by facilities, I presume they mean toilets for women. Um, there's one toilet directly above the billiards room, and uh, there's a male toilet, specifically male, to the right-hand side of the billiards room. And uh, if I was a member, I would be able to use the toilet upstairs. I'd have to go through a card room upstairs, but being a member, I would have access to the card room. And um, in the main hall, which isn't cut off from the billiards room, there are three groups of toilets there. and. Um, 
I heard that um, I would be disrupting table tennis and badminton if I were passing through the hall. But there are places for spectators in the hall and there are children in the table tennis racing around there all the time and I don't think that my slinking by very quietly would disrupt it very much. Carmel has since written to the Bishop of the Diocese and received a reply. His Lordship expressed his confidence in the committee and made it clear that it would be extremely improper for him to interfere. <laughs> No, since they haven't given an, any very, very good true reason, I think that they genuinely must be anti-women 